Hey guys, it's just a quick little video about our uh, mini regulator. So first things first, when you check it, make sure you turn it all the way anti-clockwise so the off is lined up with the gauge on the front. If you try and put in a gas cartridge with it turned on, you're going to ruin the regulator and it's not covered by warranty. Um, if the gauge doesn't return to zero or if you are having gas rushing out of the bolt labeled 1.8k on the back of the regulator. It's almost certainly because you've put a gas cartridge into it with the regulator turned on. So just be 100% sure, always off before you put in or remove a gas cartridge. When it comes to attaching this to your disconnect, if you try and screw this into the regulator, it's not going to work. It'll just get a couple of lines in and then you won't be able to turn it because this is designed to swivel. So what you need to do first is to put it onto the disconnect, tighten it up firmly, and then from there, attach the regulator. Now, at this point, if you want to, I mean, the idea is to have the regulator vertically when it's on top of your keg um, so liquid gas from the bulb doesn't go into the keg like it would if the regulator was upside down like this that can also cause damage to the regulator so this is designed to always be able to rotate in a clockwise direction you'll always be able to turn this in a clockwise direction however as soon as you turn it anti-clockwise you're going to lose your seal so when you adjust the angle adjust it clockwise and then we've got a, a good seal there. Now all the disconnects are the same, pull back the ring, push it onto the post, that's how you connect it to the keg. Um, two choices with this regulator at the moment, we've got a couple of others in the works but basically 16 gram bulb screws in there. When it gets firm, one good twist to pierce it and seal it. Um, if you do get a little bit of gas rushing out, another couple of turns to seal it. The other option you can use with these regulators is a soda stream adapter. Now these need to same thing, they've got the same thread as a 16 gram bulb. So just screw firmly into where the 16 gram bulb would go. Once that's in firm and your regulator is turned off, then you can screw in the soda stream bottle.